हेलो क्लास आई एम हैप्पी नारंग योर सब्जेक्ट टीचर ऑफ फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ सॉइल साइंस टूडेज टॉपिक इज बायोफर्टिलाइजर्स एंड इट्स एप्लीकेशन इन द लास्ट सेंचुरी केमिकल फर्टिलाइजर वर यूज इन एग्रीकल्चर फार्मर्स वर हैप्पी ऑफ गेटिंग इनक्रीज एल्ड इन एग्रीकल्चर इन द बिगनिंग बट स्लोली केमिकल फर्टिलाइजर्स स्टार्टेड डिस्प्लेइंग देयर इल इफेक्ट सच एज लीचिंग आउट polluting water basins destroying microorganism and friendly insects making the crop more susceptible to the attack of disease and reducing the soil fertility and thus causing irreparable damage to the overall system so first we should understand what does biofertilizers mean it is a large population of a specific or a group of beneficial microorganism for enhancing the productivity of soil either by fixing atmospheric nitrogen or by solubilizing soil phosphorus or by stimulating plant growth through synthesis of growth promoting substance and biofertilizer based on renewable energy sources are cost effective eco friendly and can help to economize on the high investment needed for chemical fertilizer there are some types of biofertilizers as shown in this figure nitrogen fixing biofertilizers biofertilizers for micronutrients phosphorus solubilizing biofertilizers plant growth promoting rhizobacteria and phosphorus mobilizing biofertilizers nitrogen fixing biofertilizers free living azotobacter clostridium anabena nostoc symbiotic that is rhizobium frankia anabena azolae associative symbiotic that is azoesprilium then phosphorus solubilizing biofertilizer are bacteria that is bacillus megatherium var phosphaticum Bacillus cerulenus pseudomonas striata fungi that is penicillium species aspergillus avamuri phosphorus mobilizing biofertilizers are arbuscular mycorrhiza that is glomus species gigaspora species aclospora species scatlospora species and sclerocytis species actomycorrhiza that is lecaria species pyosolithus species boletus species amanita species biofertilizers for micronutrients are silicate and zinc solubilizer that is bacillus and in plant growth promoting rhizobacteria pseudomonas that is pseudomonas florences biofertilizer organisms are rhizobium azotobacter psb blue green algae azoesperilium mycorrhiza as shown in this figure nitrogen fixing biofertilizers are of two types symbiotic and non symbiotic here we will discuss the symbiotic rhizobium this belong to bacterial group and the classical example is symbiotic nitrogen fixation the bacteria infect the legume root and form root nodules within which they reduce molecular nitrogen to ammonia which is reality utilized by the plant to produce valuable proteins and other nitrogen containing compounds the site of symbiosis is within the root nodules it has been estimated that 42 to 50 kg nitrogen per hectare per year quantity of biological nitrogen fixed by rhizobium in different crops host groups rhizobium species crops nitrogen fix kg per hectare as shown in this table now we will discuss the non symbiotic that is azoesperilium it belongs to fambry spirillaceae the bacteria have been found to live within the root of sorghum basra etc they are 
chemohetorotrophic and association in nature secret growth regulatory substance the use of ajoro spirillum inoculants help in the increasing the yield of millets it significantly increase the growth chlorophyll content and microbial infection in roots contribution result in increase mineral and water uptake root development vegetative growth and crop yield it is recommended for rice millets maize wheat sorghum sugarcane and co inoculants for legumes and the response is average increase in yield 15 to 30 percent azotobacter belongs to azotobacteria c it produce growth promoting substance which improve seed germination and growth of extended root system and it produces polysaccharides which improve soil aggregation azotobacter suppresses the growth of saprophytic and pathogenic microorganism near the root system of crop plants contribution production of growth promoting substance like vitamins of b groups endolytic acid and gibberellin acid biological control of plant disease by suppressing aspergillus fusarium and it is recommended for rice wheat millets other cereals cotton vegetable sunflower mustard flower and it is increase in yield 20 to 30% azola is a free floating water fan that floats in water and fixes atmospheric nitrogen in association with nitrogen fixing blue green alga anabina azole azola founds consist of a sporophyte with a floating rhizome and a small overlapping by lobed leaves and roots azola is considered to be a potential biofertilizer in terms of nitrogen contribution to rice long before its cultivation as a green manure azola has been used as a fodder for domesticated animals such as pigs and ducks in recent days azola is very much used as a sustainable feed substitute for livestock especially dairy cattle poultry piggery and fish phosphate solubilizing microorganisms in short we can say psm and am fungi that is an arbuscular mycorrhiza am fungi is a type of mycorrhiza in which the fungus penetrates the cortical cells of the roots of a vascular plant in silicate solubilizing bacteria microorganism are capable of degrading silicate and aluminum silicates during the metabolism of microbes several organic acids are produced produced and these have a dual role in a silicate weathering plant growth promoting rhizobacteria in short we can say pgpr the group of bacteria that colonize roots or rhizosphere soil and beneficial to crop are referred to as plant growth promoting rhizobacteria there are some application of biofertilizers to crop methods for application of biofertilizer are seed treatment sat treatment seedling treatment and soil treatment so first we will discuss the seed treatment for inoculation of cereals like rice wheat sorghum maize etc one packet that is 200 g is sufficient to treat 10 to 12 kg seed on the basis the dose of biofertilizer per acre can be worked out based on the seed rate here is the method keep the seeds required for sowing one acre in a heap then mix one packet biofertilizer in approx 400 ml water then sprinkle the culture on the heap of seed and spread the seed under shade and then sow set treatment this method is recommended generally for treating the sats of sugarcane cut pieces of potato and banana suckers the method is prepare culture 1 kg of biofertilizer plus 40 to 50 liter of water 
Then cut pieces are kept immersed in the suspension for 30 minutes and bring out cut pieces and dry them in shade for some time before planting. And after planting field is irrigated within 24 hours. As you can note down, for set treatment, the ratio of biofertilizer to water in approximately 1 ratio 50. Seedling treatment, this method is recommended for crops like tobacco, tomato, chili, onion. So here is the method, 1 kg biofertilizer plus 10 to 15 liter of water, then make a small bundles of seedling and dip the root portion for 15 to 30 minutes and transplant immediately. As you can note, the ratio of inoculant and water is 1 ratio 10 that is 1 kg biofertilizer in 10 liter of water. Here we'll discuss the soil application. This method vary crop to crop depending on its duration. Generally, for a short duration less than 6 month crop 10 to 15 packets that is each of 200 gram are mixed with 40 to 60 kg of well decomposed cattle manure or 40 to 60 of soil for one acre land. The mixture of biofertilizer and cattle manure soil sprinkler with water is then broadcasted into soil at the time of sowing or at the time of irrigation in a standing crop. For long duration crop that is perennial crop. 20 to 30 packet of biofertilizer each containing 200 gram are mixed with 80 to 120 kg cattle manure or soil per acre. Here is a summary of method, number of soil, crops, methods of application, dose per packets per acre and the quantity of water as shown in this table. Here are some benefits from using biofertilizers are increase crop yields by 20 to 30 percent, replace chemical nitrogen and phosphorus by 25 percent, stimulate plant growth, activate the soil biologically, restore natural soil fertility, cost effective, supplements to fertilizers, eco friendly, reduces the cost towards fertilizers use especially regarding nitrogen and phosphorus. Thank you. Stay home. Stay safe.